Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nodena Binti Hamidun and today I'm going to share and discuss about Class B Power Amplifier. Okay, what is actually Class B Power Amplifier? Okay, um, Class B Amplifier is a type of power amplifier where the active device transistor conducts only for one half cycle of the input signal. That means the conduction angle is 180 degree for a Class B Amplifier. Since the active device is switched off for half the input cycle, the active device dissipates less power and hence efficiency improve. is improved. Okay? Theoretical maximum efficiency of class B power amplifier is 78.5%. Okay, now, operation of class B power amplifier. Okay, class B operation provide when the DC bias leaves the transistor bias just off, the transistor turning on when the AC signal is applied. Okay, this is essentially no bias. And the transistor conducts current for only one half of the signal cycle when it is turned on. Okay, to obtain output for the first cycle of of the signal, it is necessary to use two transistors and have each conduct to um, opposite half cycle. Okay, the circuit is referred to as a pull push circuit since one part of the circuit push the signal. Okay, push the signal high during one half cycle and the other part pulls the signal low during other half cycle. Okay. So basic load line and quiescent condition which is the Q point. Okay, this is the IV characteristic for um, class B power amplifier. Okay, as you guys can see, the Q point is at zero volt on the load line so that the AC signal can only swing for one half cycle. Okay, so here is the Q point. Okay. And this is the output. Of the power amplifier which is the half cycle okay a class B power amplifier output only conducts for 180 degree or one half um, of the AC input signal okay so that's all from me thank you hi everyone so today I would like to share with you guys about the circuit design and simulation waveform A simplified class B amplifier circuit is presented as shown. The circuit is powered by a symmetrical DC voltage source for VCC positive with a complementary pair of transistor Q1 as an NPN and Q2 as an PNP. These transistors are connected in such a way that both cannot conduct simultaneously. My friends already shared about the basic operation, so I will just cut the cheese and let's Go to the next slide. Okay, now I will show you guys how to pull out the waveform. So first, we need to put the probe here and prop I here. This is for uh, V in waveform and this is for I in waveform. This is for V out waveform and this is for output waveform. And uh, where do we get this probe? It's over here. And uh, this one. To see your waveform. We just press this button, this simulate button. This button shows us the DC current and DC voltage. Okay guys, so this is a proof that the class B amplifier operation has zero DC bias. As the transistor are biased at the cutoff, so each transistor only conducts when the input signal is greater than the base emitter voltage. Okay, the waveform below shows the voltage input waveform. Uh, over here is a VP and the value is 30.980 VP X positive cycle and this one is and down here is for negative cycle. This one is positive and negative. The waveform shows voltage output waveform. And the positive cycle are 27.660 and the negative cycle are 28.462. And at this point, it is a distortion actually, which is not very clear. So let's zoom out. Oh, I mean zoom in. 
Okay, this is the distortion over here. You can see here. And this one is a current output waveform. We get a positive cycle are uh, 3.4576 and negative cycle are uh, negative 3.5578. to explain to you guys about the DC and DC calculation. So we use beta 200 because the our transistor is 200 beta and VB equal to 0 and IB equal to 0. So I see as we see in this calculation we got 0 ampere and IE this calculation we got 0 ampere. So VCE equal to positive VCC so we got 31 volt. As for P and P we got beta 200 because it's the 200 beta and VB equal to 0, IB equal to 0. So we got IC 0 ampere and IE 0 ampere. So VCE equal to negative VCC. So we got negative 31 volt. As for simulation, we got IC 49.09 people, negative 44.00 people, and negative 5.091 people. And VCE, we got 31 positive. And as for PNP, we got IC negative 48.014 people, IE 39.31 people ampere, and IB 8.701 people, and VCE we got negative 31 volt. For power energy calculation and simulation, for power input, we get calculation 76.48 watt, and simulation we get 76.40 watt. And for output, we got 60 watt that is given in question and simulation we got 47.82 watt. For dissipated power, we got P to Q 16.48 watt and PQ we got 8.24 watt. And for P to Q simulation we got 28.58 watt and for PQ we got 14.29 watt. And as for efficiency, in calculation we got 78.5 uh, for 5% and as for simulation we got 62.59% thank you my name is Mepi Zawizartan so today I will present about Vila's table Vila's contain facts, ideas, learning outcome, action takes and solutions fact is where you list all the facts in the problem given. Ideas, ideas is where you list as many ideas as you can generate to manage the problem. So here is our ideas from this problem. After that is learning issues. Learning issues is where you list all the topics that you need to learn in order to manage the problem. So. Our topic is like in the PowerPoint. We got troubles in knowing how the CPIR sensor works, how class power, how class B power amplifier works, how to design class B amplifier for the application, how to design power amplifier circuit with a BJP as the AP devices, and lastly, how to calculate the power dissipated is will power being delivered to the load and the efficiency. And next is action plan. Action plan is a list of a plan to show how, what, and where you intend to seek new information. So in the slide given, this is how we seek our information from discuss with the group mate, understand the problem and study about the sensor, go through uh, websites, consult lecturer, consult lecturer and use portis to stimulate circuit. And lastly, it is solutions. Solution is where you list all of the solutions from the problem given. So, in the slide, I will give you solution to calculate power output, power dissipation, efficiency, and VCC. Okay, hi. As for conclusion, to sum up, sensor is a device that detects and responds to some type of input from the physical environment. 
in this project, we decided to build and design a PIR sensor for an alarm system to detect false entry. Particularly, a security alarm is a system designed to detect an intrusion or unauthorized entry into a building or other areas such as a home or a school. Security alarms are mostly used in residential, commercial, industrial and military properties for protection against theft or property damage as well as personal protection against intruders. Hence, after we are doing some research, we figured it as we need to use a class B power amplifier for the real life application. For this reason, we also identified how to design the power amplifier circuit with a BJT as the active device. As a result, we ran some analysis to find a suitable circuit and decided to use produce software to simulate the circuit. However, to get the output of this experiment, the software that we use is produce so that there is must be a slightly different measure value and theoretical value. Therefore, they must be due to systematic error. Thank you.